Nearly 350 cars from 10 countries are in the biggest motor show under one roof the world has ever seen. The new and attractive console Capri aims at the mass market and looks capable of scoring a profitable direct hit. The MG Midget chassis above another MG. An old friend, the MG, popular on both sides of the Atlantic. Another newcomer, the Riley Elf. The 32 of the 72 different makes of cars on show are British. Optional on the Austin A60 is automatic transmission. Obviously, the car appeals to TV star Kim Tracy. Way up in the tycoon class is the Bristol 407. Up to the minute gear change, a status symbol for the connoisseur. And available now is an engine which really is a power unit, a 5.2-litre Chrysler. There's class two about the Rover 3-litre, with power steering and automatic transmission if wanted. But why not build your own car, at least assemble it? Ask Lotus, the saving 800 pounds, well worth the effort and time. You can break for tea to suit yourself, and if you feel like a strike some weekend, who'd stop you? That big dollar earner, the Triumph TR4. So well known across the Atlantic, the exhaust almost has an American accent. But if there's one car that steals the show, it's a new Jaguar Mark 10. Inside and out, as near to perfection as anyone can wish. America has a thousand on order. One dealer said he could sell that many tomorrow if he could get them. The Chrysler Turbo Flight is a peep into the future. Open the door and up goes the canopy. The engine runs on almost any liquid fuel. A wonderful show, but where are we all going to park? <laughs>